Right, welcome back. We'll continue on with the uh, lesson review. Um, at this point here, we'll move on to integers. All these will create a little space in here. Again, I'm using the Sublime Text Editor instead of the online compiler at the moment. Um, type in int. If you remember, it gives you an integer. Integer being a whole number, so a number without any decimal points. So numbers like 1, 2, 25, minus 25, they're fine. But anything with a decimal point is not allowed. So whole numbers only. After putting the word in, you have to then say the name of the place that will hold the value. Now think back to names of places. You have your own personal name. For example, my name is Matty. So in my brain I see a place in my head called my name. And inside my name is the actual name Matty or Matty Harkin. So it's the same in programming. You're looking for places to hold information. This one will be called I number one. I put the I in front to remind myself it's going to be an integer. And I've used capitalization for the N and the zero. Oh, sorry, the O, um, just to make sure that the naming convention makes sense. It's a good idea to stick to a proper naming convention. I can put a semicolon in here if I want to, um, but later on that means I have to initialize I number one with a value like this. If I need to sign in and give it a value, um, then it will work. If I don't initialize it with a value, um, Java will basically say no and give us an error. So I like to initialize straight away and I give it a value of 10. So that's my first integer created, I'll then create a second one, I'm just simply copying and pasting the text at this point, changing the values, and I'll call this 20, so that's two variables declared, and that's variable, I'll type it in there, as a name for uh, one of these places in the computer's memory, so this is a variable of int, and the line below that is exactly the same. What I'll do now is uh, I'll show some information to the screen using the command we've seen before, just make front of LN. And within there, instead of putting out a string or some maths, I'll place the name of one of these variables. So I number one. And what we'll do is we'll look up in computer's memory for this location, and at that point, find what's inside that location. Now we're still on the number 10, so a number 10 should appear. And if I put I number two in, again, it should find that location and show us what's in there too. I'm going to put this into the online compiler, quickly execute it, see what we get. And in the output window you can see there's a 10 or the 20, which relates directly to these variables here. So I number 1 has been shown as a 10, and I number 2 has been shown as a 20 down in the output window. Another thing we can do with this is obviously maths. We've done maths before as well, so let's do some more maths. I'm going to grab this line and just add some more into it. I number 1 plus I number 2. So it should do some maths uh, on the fly for us. Again, put it into the compiler. Have a check for the output and now it says 30. So it's the same maths we've done in the previous uh, review, just using variables instead. And it all works in a very similar fashion. You can use the multiply, divide and the modulus as well.